UFC 283 Texera versus Hill took place Saturday, January 21st from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Two heavyweights collide in a highly anticipated matchup when the number two ranked light heavyweight contender Glover Texera and number seventh ranked Jamal Hill are set to compete for the vacant UFC light heavyweight championship. Let's talk Texera versus Hill. The number seventh ranked UFC light heavyweight Jamal Hill, 11-1-1 fighting out of Michigan, is determined to defeat the former champion Texera and dance his way to the light heavyweight throne. The Dana White Contender Series alum is a well-rounded fighter and currently on a three-fight win streak all by knockout, showing off his heavy hands and knockout power and looks to keep his streak going. But on the other side of the octagon, you have the former UFC light heavyweight champion and number two ranked UFC light heavyweight, Glover Texera, 33-8, fighting out of Connecticut and he returns to the octagon to reclaim the light heavyweight title and take out the rising contender Hill in the process. Glover is a true veteran of the sport that is very well rounded. He has power in both hands and uses his chain wrestling and grappling to create havoc on his opponents with his heavy top pressure. It's old versus new and I can't wait. Tonight's betting odds are very close with Glover coming in at a minus 115. Hill comes in at a close minus 105. And here's how it went down. Glover comes out right away looking for several takedowns, but Jamal showed good defense throughout the fight. Jamal all night used his long range striking, landing some nice shots with his knees, kicks, punches, and using all of his tools. Both fighters were landing, but Hill seemed to have the edge all night. It's a dog fight, but Hill showed all night that he had the power edge, but Glover pressured forward with pure toughness and grit all night. Every time you thought Glover was done, he kept landing his own punches to stay in it, but Hill was just too much all night. Jamal Hill defeats Glover Texera to become the UFC light heavyweight champion. Glover in his post-fight speech with DC dropped his gloves in the middle of the octagon and announced his retirement. What a legend. All right, here's my final thoughts. What a fight. Can we start off by acknowledging just how incredibly tough mentally and physically Glover is? It's easy to yell at the TV and tell a fighter to keep pushing forward and to keep fighting, but it takes a special kind of toughness to fight five rounds and literally put it all on the table. Glover is a special fighter and he'll be missed. But now let's talk about the champ. Hill brought out all of his weapons and they were on full display tonight. He didn't just rely on one punch power and he gave Glover a lot of different looks displaying a solid fight IQ and a very smart game plan. Hill showed he can go the distance and I can't wait for him to fight again. All right, here's some quick stats on Hill. He's now the UFC light heavyweight champion. He is on a four fight win streak. He has seven wins by KO, four first round finishes. He now holds wins over Tiago Santos, Johnny Walker, Jimmy Crude, and now Glover Texera. Okay, what's next for Hill? Yuri Prohashka when he's healthy. But guys, let me know in the comments who you think he should fight next. This is Jake Hatton with MMA Weekly's The Lowdown Breakdown. See you next time.